here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of infinite series welcome to video number 17 and in this video we are going to start webs test which is also known as higher ratio test this test is very 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 important but this test is not used directly this is used in supporting of some other test okay when some other test fails in that uh, in that time we use we take the help of this test okay so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this chapter that is uh, uh, infinite series with your friends okay in this way you are going to support me and uh, i need that support and it is just a request okay let us start reps test if summation un is a positive term series and limit n tends to infinity n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 equals to l okay then this series that is summation un is convergent if l is more than 1 this l is more than 1 the series is convergent and if this l is less than 1 then the series becomes divergent okay yes according to this test summation un is a if summation un is a positive term series yes this summation un is a series which consists of on, only positive terms and limit n tends to infinity n into un upon un plus 1 minus 1 equals to l if this l is more than 1 then the series is convergent if this l is less than 1 then the series is divergent and my test fails when l equals to 1 now with this we are going to start a problem now we will solve this problem that is test the convergence of the series that is x upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 into x cube upon 3 plus 1 into 3 upon 2 into 4 into x to power 5 upon 5 plus 1 2 3 upon 2 into 4 into 5 2 into 4 into 6 into x to power 7 upon 7 plus dot 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 okay yes so we need to find u n first okay what is the nth term of this series if you see we here we have x upon 1 here we have x cube upon 3 here we have x to power 5 upon 5 again x to power 7 upon 7 so we can say x power is even number sorry odd number the power of x is always odd number and the denominator part is also odd number so here we need to write that is x to the power 2n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 okay x to the power 2n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 and apart from this this uh, coefficient that is 1 in the, in the denominator part it is 2 here we have 1 into 3 here we have 2 into 4 here we have 1 into 2, 3 into 5 here we have 2 into 4 into 6 so nth term will become for the numerator part which is consisting of odd numbers that is 1 into 3 into 5 into dot 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 up to 2n minus 1 and in the denominator part if you see here we have only even numbers that is 2 into 4 into 6 dot 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 up to 2n fine here we have found that is un now after un we know we want to know what is un plus 1 because i am going to apply first that is d alembers ratio test thereafter if my test fails i will take the help of reps test okay yes so from video number 14 to 16 i have uh, uh, done three uh, videos uh, that is three problems on this test that is uh, d alembers ratio test if you have gone through that uh, videos you will find very easy okay yes so u n is equal to this much and u n plus one okay for u n plus one what we need to do is yes in place of n simply write n plus one okay so here we have one into three into five dot dot to n minus one to n plus one okay if you want to know what is the previous term of this that is two n minus three okay previous term of this is two n minus three and for this term that is 2n minus 3 if you put in place of n that is uh, n plus 1 you will find 2n plus 2 minus 3 so all this will get 2n minus 1 okay so the previous term of this is 2n minus 3 and if you put n equals to n plus 1 so this is going to be 2n plus 2n minus 1 okay similarly here also here we have 2n minus 1 so write n plus 1 in place of n so it is going to be 2n plus 2 minus 1 so this is going to be 2n plus 1 so if you put n plus 1 in place of n this is going to be 2n plus 1 similarly in the denominator part 2 into 4 into 6 plus dot 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 up to 2n 2n by last term okay if you put n plus 1 in terms of in place of n 
you will get last term as 2n plus 2. But uh, the previous term of this is what? 2n minus 2. Okay. 2n minus 2 is the previous term of this 2n. If you put n equals to n plus 1 here, you will get 2n. Okay. Yes. 2n minus 2. Simply put n equals to 1. Uh, n equals to n plus 1. So, you will get 2n plus 2 minus 2. This 2 will get cancelled. You are left with only 2n. Fine. So, the if you put n plus 1 in place of n in this term, which is the previous term of this 2n, you will get 2n. Okay. Yes. In this way, we can find this. Again here, 2n plus 1. If you put n equals to n plus 1 here, you will get x to the power 2n plus 3. Derivative part will be as it is. That is 2n plus 3. Okay. If you put n equals to n plus 1 here, you will find 2n plus 3. Okay. So, I hope this part is clear to you. That is how we found un and un plus 1. Now, according to D. Lambert ratio test, we need to find limit of this. So, before finding the limit, we need to find what is un plus 1 upon un. Okay. Yes un plus 1 that is we are writing this whole term here okay from here to here this is what this is un plus 1 now again in the denominator part we have un so numerator part will come in the denominator part and the denominator part will become numerator part because this is in the denominator part now if you see if you compare this with this this whole term will get cancelled okay up to this okay yes up to 2n minus 1 we have cancelled out now here 2n plus 1 here also we have 2n plus 1 so this is going to be 2n plus 1 whole square okay yes again here 2 into 4 into 6 plus okay into dot 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 up to 2n here again up to 2n we can cancel it okay yes here we can cancel it so into denominator part we are left with 2n plus 2 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 3 okay yes again x to the power 2n plus 3 can be written as x to the power 2n plus 1 into x square okay since base is common you can add power so on adding power you will get this as x to the power 2n plus 3 okay now if you can write this as this x to the power 2n plus 1 will get cancelled with this you are left with only x square okay so x square is left okay yes now simply move forward yes now here from here we are taking common that is n because of this square you will find n square okay out of this bracket so taking common that is n square here we have taken n so this is going to be 2 plus 1 upon n okay whole square into x square upon here again we are taking common n and here also we are taking n common okay so after taking n common you are left with 2 plus 2 upon n again take n common that is 2 plus 3 upon n okay yes now you can see n n will get cancelled you are finally left with 2 plus 1 upon n whole square into x square in the numerator part in the denominator part we have 2 plus 2 upon n into 2 plus 3 upon n in the denominator part now we have u n plus 1 upon u n now simply we can find that is limit okay yes limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 upon u n that is limit n tends to infinity what is u n plus 1 upon u n this part okay so we can write it here now if you put n equals to infinity i mean if you put limit this term is going to be 0 so 2 square that is 4 upon this term and this term will become 0 so 2 into 2 that is again 4 okay 2 square 4 in the denominator part we have 2 into 2 that is 4 4 4 will get cancelled so finally you are left with only x square okay so x square is left okay yes now according to d alembert's ratio test the series okay the series is convergent if this x square value is less than 1 okay yes it all depends thus the the behavior of the series is depending on this value of x square if the value of x square is less than 1 then the series is convergent according to d alembert's ratio test and if the value of x square is more than 1 then the series is divergent again according to the d alembert's ratio test okay but the series but the test fails this test that is d alembert's ratio test fails when x square is equals to 1 okay in that case we will take the help of raps test okay raps test fine so the test fails if x square equals to 1 now we have u n plus 1 upon u n that is 2 n plus 1 whole square into x square upon 2 n plus 1 into 2 n plus 3 we have this value now put x square equals to 1 so this is u n plus 1 upon u n is okay now we but uh, according to the raps test what we need is yes u n upon u n upon u n plus 1 okay we need this so if you put x square equals to 1 so this is going to be 1 but 
we are in, interested in finding u n upon u n plus one. So write the reciprocal of this. Okay, taking this as one. So two n plus two into two n plus three in the numerator part, and writing this two n plus one whole square in the denominator part. Okay. Now we will apply Raph's test. For applying Raph's test, we need to find limit of this. That is, limit n tends to infinity n into u n upon u n plus one minus one. Okay. Yes. Limit n tends to infinity. Here we need to write n. What is u n upon u n plus one? This. Okay. Write it here. That is two n plus two into two n plus three upon two n plus one whole square minus one. Okay. Minus one. Don't forget to write here minus one. Okay. Yes. Now limit n tends to infinity n. Open this bracket. Two n into two n. That is four n square. Two n into three. That is six n. Two into two n. That is four n. Two into three. That is six. Minus. If you take LCM. Okay. Right. A plus B whole square here. Okay, because one into two n plus one whole square will become two n plus one whole square. Okay, so two n plus one whole square will become four n square plus four n plus one. Okay, simply go for a plus b whole square. Upon writing this as it is, that is two n plus one whole square. Two n plus one whole square. Now, if you open this bracket, you can see four n square four n square will get cancelled. Okay, again here we have ten n. Ten n minus four n will become six n. Okay. Yes, here we have six minus one, that is five. Okay, yes. So limit n tends to infinity n into here we have six n plus five upon this is as it is, that is two n plus one whole square. Now, yes, here again we will take n common, so n into limit n tends to infinity. This n is here, taking n common from this numerator, that is six, n into six plus five upon n. Again, in the numerator part, denominator part, we can take n square common because of if you take n here because of this square only, we will take n square. Out of this bracket, so two plus one upon n whole square. Now simply put limit. Okay, that is n equals to infinity. This n square will get cancelled. This will become zero. This will become zero. Okay, so we have six upon two square. That is six upon two square is how much four? So six upon four will give me the value as more than one. Okay, what is six upon four? It is more than one. Okay, so we can say according to the Raph's test, the series is convergent because Yes, if you see here again, according to the, this rap test, the series is convergent if the value of l is more than one, and the series is divergent if the value of l is less than one. Here we found the value as more than one, so we can say according to the rap test, the series is convergent if x is equal to one. Okay, now according to the D'Alembert ratio test, we have already found these two. Situation that is the series is convergent when x square is less than one and divergent when x square is more than one and according to the Raps test, okay, at x square equals to one, the series is what the series is convergent. Okay, so we can say convergent cases twice that is x square is less than one according to D'Alembert ratio and according to this ratio, this test also the the test is. The series is convergent when x square equals to one, and the series is divergent at only one point. That is, x square greater than one. Okay, yes. So we can say, or you can say, finally we can conclude that the series is convergent for two conditions. That is, x square equals to one according to the Raff test, and x square less than one according to the D'Alembert ratio test. And the series is divergent for only one condition. That is, x square is more than one according to the D'Alembert test. Okay, ratio test. So I hope that you have learned something this from this video. If this is the case, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this chapter with your friends. Thank you, thank you so much.